get tough on the street, get tough with the gang. Watch your back, it's a hardcore thing in the ghetto. WWE News. Wow. Volume 9. I clearly haven't done these videos in a good, good while. And maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I shouldn't force trying to do a video about news every week. Because not every week something big happens. Like this week. Okay, so apparently CM Punk quits WWE. Damn. I, I can't stress enough how much this sucks. If it's true. It hasn't been confirmed by anyone, really. WWE hasn't posted anything about it. CM Punk hasn't tweeted since Sunday night. He wasn't at Raw, and I just figured maybe he had the night off. Maybe they said, hey, you did an hour in the Rumble. He, he's been beat up lately as far as just the road and his body. So I thought, hey, they gave him a bone, and then the, the next week they would continue whatever feud he has with the Authority, Kane... I didn't think twice of it, and then to hear that he might have quit, uh, it sucks on multiple levels. It sucks because he is one of the best wrestlers that they have today. Um, I'd say the two best wrestlers that they have currently is Daniel Bryan and CM Punk. And if I could do a dream WrestleMania match for WrestleMania 30, if I could have picked the main event, I would have said CM Punk as champion defending against Daniel Bryan. That's what I would have loved. That match would have been phenomenal. It would have been a hell of a lot better than Batista versus Randy fucking Orton. Yeah, we want to see that match at the main event for WrestleMania. What? What's going on? Like... As much as it sucks that Punk's leaving. And also it sucks because this is right before WrestleMania. Like, this is WrestleMania season. We just began WrestleMania season and he leaves. And it's like, if this is for good, if he doesn't come back, if if it's official, then he won't be at WrestleMania. And that's a, that's a big loss for WWE. I... But I also don't blame him. I don't blame him for being so frustrated. The fact that he's been doing the schedule, this WWE schedule, which I'm not going to say, oh, wow, okay, so every other wrestler has to do the schedule, but Punk's been one of the top guys for the last few years, so he's been doing that grind, and a lot of the other wrestlers, whether it's injuries or whether it's them getting time off, they've gotten time off, and Punk, he only had two months last year off. I thought when he left, I thought they were going to give him until SummerSlam, but no, they were like, um... Yeah, it's May or June. You can come back now. Like, wow. So he's burnt out, and he came back early to still be there. And what happens? Batista comes in, wins the Rumble. So not only is Punk not in the title picture, not in the main event, neither is Daniel Bryan, who I think even Punk would admit and agree that Daniel Bryan would have deserved the main event spot more than anyone, including himself. So again, I don't blame him. It still sucks. I hope it's not true, or I hope... I even had this thought. This is how much WWE has screwed me up as far as the unpredictability factor. So, I doubt this is the case, but I would love for this to be a work. I would love for this to be WWE basically fucking with the fans, basically getting all the dirt sheets talking and all the fans going crazy, but it's actually a plan, and it's and it's a way to build up getting Batista out of the main event because they saw the outcry and the, and the rage. Maybe. I doubt it. It's more wishful thinking, I know. All right, on to other news. Sting might be in negotiations with WWE. Now, I know this has been the big rumor in January for the last three years straight. I know. It might be at a point where some people don't even care if he jumps ships at this point. Hell, for all I know, Sting is this new investor in TNA, and it's, it's all a fucking work. I don't know. To be honest, though, I, I feel like I need to see Sting at WrestleMania. One WrestleMania. I would love more than anything for him to do a full year of programs and matches we've never seen before of him versus guys and WWE. I would love that. 
kind of like when Goldberg had that one year and then that was it. I would like Sting to do that, but even if it was just the one match at WrestleMania against The Undertaker, that would make all of these years worth it. All the disappointments of every time he re-signed with TNA, this would make it worth it if it happened once. Will it happen? <sighs> Alright, my last story that I want to talk about is Matt Hardy and his new wife, Rebel Sky, were arrested for a domestic dispute. Wow! So, Matt Hardy, who, okay, I haven't really been following Matt Hardy since he left TNA or got fired or whatever was going on. Last I heard, he was into drugs, but maybe he's gotten himself cleaned up. I don't want to assume that. And I heard he got married a couple months ago, and I saw the pictures, and I thought, okay, good for him. He, not saying he was still stuck on Lita, but at least it's like he officially moved on. He married a hot chick who is a wrestler. But then it's like, guys, you've been married for a couple of months and you're already not even arguing. You're physically fighting each other in public and you get arrested. And I saw the mug shots and both of them had scratches and they both looked beat up. So it was a mutual fight. Not to say Matt Hardy was justified in hitting her. Cause I don't agree with hitting a woman, but that's weird. That's weird. JTG, who I didn't even know is still in WWE, he tweeted something to the effect of CM Punk leaves WWE, Matt Hardy gets arrested. Does Lita have some type of deal with American Horror Story and the Witch's Coven? I almost would believe that. That was pretty funny. Anyways, guys, yeah, that's just some of the news going on right now. Pretty crazy. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this stuff. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. Later!